Oh, look at you. This here is Dinah. She's a little tiny Shirley Temple girl, isn't she? She loves her paddocks. Don't you, princess? Don't you, girl? Oh, look at her. She's very loving. And she has a lot of expression. She just, she really, really puts her whole, her whole body and soul into whatever she's thinking and feeling. And I call her my Shirley Temple girl because she's so little. Look at her tiny little head with my hand here. Because she's just a tiny girl. She's like a, she's a little, got a little chubby belly, but I just, that's why I call her Shirley Temple, because she's kind of like a cherub, just a real sweet little kitty, and very, very spunky, isn't she? She loves to play. She's a big play girl, and she's always, always happy. <laughs> she's very, really familiar with other kitties. And she really likes other kitties a lot, too. She, um, she gets, she'll come up as soon as she feels comfortable with another cat. It takes her a day or two. Then she comes up and she wants to, like, rub against them. And she, she sleep with them and play with them. And, uh, you know, I think it's because she's, she, even at her young age, which I think she's only, a, a, you know, to me, she I don't think she's more than like a year or two old, but she's already had like a litter of kittens. And um, she's just, she really, really, her personality is more like that of a kitten. And uh, just uh, adds a very calming influence, you know, to whatever like cat household she's part of just because she's you know she kind of wants to be friends she wants to play there's your ball look at that and uh and she's just really really upbeat she's very funny when you first when she first comes into your house she well, of course she hides um and but she she hid in the closet like when I put her in the foster room and then but then she kind of wants you to coax her out and she makes these little growly noises like to um you know if there's some unfamiliar sound or I mean at first when I opened the window in the foster room she would hear a truck or something outside and she'd do a little growl and run to the window and it's kind of funny because it's all um you know it's like the uh like the cowardly lion or something because it's all bravado like she really just she's really uh you know a kind of a, a wimp when it comes to actually you know taking on any cats uh she she definitely um she's definitely a confident girl but she um but she's um you know not an aggressive an aggressive cat when she uh, when she was first here with my uh, my FIV boy Curly, and he was at the top of the cat tree, and she just kind of checked him out and realized that he wasn't by nature dominant. So she jumped up to the top of the cat tree with him. So in that way too, she's uh, I don't want to say she's fearless. She's just uh, she's plucky. I think that's the the right word for her. She's a, she's sparky and plucky and happy, and I think um, you know she would make a great a great part of any household. Um, whether um, you know whether as the only cat or an addition, you know to a, um, to another FIV kitty, particularly. Uh, well, you know she likes girls and boys. Get it, girl. Get it. And she's really, really cute. I mean, she's got, like, her legs are kind of a little bit short. It makes me wonder if she's mixed, you know, got kind of part mixture with that munchkin -y breed. Because uh, she really is petite. And she it's, like, really not showing up very well on the camera. But, uh, 
but I think uh, she's definitely, if you're looking for another cat, you know, to go with your FIV, like, boy or something, she's definitely worth a, 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 um, a try because she's just the, she's just the best girl, and I've really, really grown very fond of her, you know, just because she's just so eternally happy. And whenever I walk into the room, she's always like, hi, just a big smile on her face. And uh, I'm very excited to get her brushing. She loves, loves, loves to be brushing, to be brushed. I'm sorry, but um, she's not too fond of being picked up and held. And I'm not really sure why that is. But um, but this cat's definitely a cuddler and a player. And uh, uh, come up here, baby. Come on up. And she's always game. You know, whatever you want to do, she's always game. Come on up, baby. Yeah, look at you. Here, more brushies. More good brushies. Yeah. Look at that. Look at you. Loves to look out the window. She's just your all-around good kitty. And, you know, I think I probably said that. She's FIV positive. But she's, um, she's in pretty perfect health. Uh, the brushing's good for her teeth. You know, she loves her crunchies. She actually, surprisingly, she doesn't, um, she's not a huge eater. She, even though she looks a little chubby, I think it's just because, you know, her first home um, fed her on nine lives. And, uh, you know, so I think that that might have added, you know, given her a little weight there. But um, But she's really not... She's really not, like, all that heavy in real life. I think she looks more like that on camera. Anyways, enough here. I'm going to end this, but here's our little picture of Miss Dinah. Right, girl? Okay, bye.